All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21, man, it's some. It, 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 the horizon is looking crazy, man, just because a lot of people are mad at some of the stuff that 2K is talking about lately. But, hey, it is what it is. We're going to talk about all of that. Wagers are the hot button topic. A lot of people, you know, they're saying that the wages are done. They're not done. Are they over? Are they? We're going to find out all that right after this. So if you don't do nothing else, make sure y'all like the video because every like pushes us closer to the oh, oh so coveted 100K. And just without a whole lot of stuff, let's just get right into it, man. Leo! Make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me a savage. Start hustling nonstop, don't plan on breaking that habit. All right, bro, so we just going to go through this as quickly as possible, man, because I, I don't want to uh, go. First off, I want to thank all of my subs for coming through and just letting me know just straight up yesterday why you spend vc a lot of people got it misconstrued most of y'all understood what i was saying a lot of people was like well you're a content creator why can you why so it's okay for you to buy it no 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 i'm saying this is my justification justification for buying the vc a lot of people don't have no justification for buying the vc, for VC and i just wanted to know like do y'all really have a problem with it? a lot of y'all just say i really don't got a problem with it because i got more money than time time is finite money is unlimited as long as you working and a little 50 dollars like my boy chirac said he said i spend more on blunts than on backwoods backwood activity than than you know 50 dollars a week so i get it man if you are doing it to save your time i get it and that's what i was trying to understand people that a lot of people do it and they're fine with the VC prices and the reason that they use they they buy VC is to save time. So even if we stop buying VC or you stop buying VC, there's a lot more people that just don't have the time to put it into grinding, you know, from 60 to whatever. And I was like, that's the alternative. You're not going to like the alternative, but there's a way to stop it. And, uh, you know, you got a lot of kids out there that just be like, oh, you caping for two. No, I'm just telling you the truth. It's just like when I when I try to break it down to people with the Montgomery bus uh, boycott and stuff like that. 75% of the patrons of the, uh, in Montgomery, Alabama were, you know, with the Rosa, when Rosa Parks, they put off the bus or what have you. She got arrested, all this stuff. She didn't want to give up a seat. Everybody knows the story well, but what a lot of people don't know is the is what really got things moving was the financial fallout. The Montgomery bus uh, uh, boycott is what got everything going. 75% of the people that were on the buses were black. And they won't let black people sit where they want to sit. So what happened? They're saying y'all don't y'all are saying that uh that that you want to sit where you want to sit, pretty much. This is in essence. I'm not I'm, I'm just a paraphrasing. Y'all saying y'all want to sit where y'all want to sit, but and you're unhappy with the conditions, but 75% of y'all are our customers, so y'all paying. So we don't know nothing. It was not until everybody just boycotted and said, I'm gonna walk to work, I'm gonna carpool and all of that stuff, and started costing them the equivalent of thirty thousand dollars a day which is in today's money back then it was like three thousand bucks in 1955 but the whole point is it was not until they damn near bankrupt the montgomery bus lines by not going by not you know getting on the buses that they made change change is never gonna be because somebody gets something and i just throw a bitch fit and i just whine and i just say change has never come like that it's always going to be a financial issue is if you don't hit them in the wallet they ain't gonna, it's the way when NFL players get right when you hit them in the wallet. Well, you know what I'm saying? It's just like that, man. If it's supply, it's demand. It's, it's, it's all of that, man. And, uh, you know, like I said, man, it is what it is. So, you know, we talked about that. Uh, I ain't even gonna talk about the, the I'm not gonna talk about supply and demand in the hood and all this stuff. But, you know, like I said, man, it is what it is. But let's just get to what we're talking about today, man. Annoying TV, uh, put up there like, bro, there's no way, right, 2K? And, uh, it just said, we're talking about the, um, uh, th thank y'all for saying, you know, I, 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 I'm fine with the VC prices and I'm, I'm, and even though I wish they were a little bit lower, I mean, I'm going to pay for it because that's just what I'm going to do to save time. I'm never going to, a lot of y'all said y'all work 40 plus hours a week. I'm not about to grind no player from 60 to 99. I'm barely want to grind it from 85. I just want to pay the money and get out there and hoop. And I understand that. And that's why I feel like a lot of the people that are pissed off with the prices are people that just can't afford it or they can't, which, which really amounts to kids. Anyway, back to what we were saying. Uh, you know, he's saying no way. And this is in the TOS. And somebody said it's in the TOS or what have you. And he's just saying, you agree using uh, the online services that you will, that you will, 
are only used as the online service for a lawful purpose in compliance with all applicable laws for for uh you know for other what blah 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 and you will not use the online service in connection with any uh, a rank uh, what is that agreement with other individuals to wager any monetary any money or other things of value and stuff like that and we already know that the unlawful part is bro we know that they can knock you off if you do something unlawful how because they knock bullet off that's exactly why they knocked him off because they they said that they had evidence of him doxing somebody on his stream while playing 2k so we know that that's a violation of the tos we didn't know back then but we know now i mean i wouldn't have done it but you know what i'm saying he, that's how they got him and they just boxed him in and that was it right there um a lot of people wanted to talk about it you got uh bass plus saying 2k band wages is actually i actually think that uh they want to kill the game wtf please let me know uh the thought process a lot of people don't even care about wages though i'm gonna be honest with you i love badgy pluggy i'm not gonna lie I watch this channel every day a lot of people don't care about wages though we just want to see the competition if you said you're playing elite competition that's gonna that would be it uh one guy says kill the game by getting rid of an illegal act dot 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 okay and now uh, i said t uh, uh technically pack opens are gambling too aha but that is only in countries where they say if you disclose the odds it's now it's no longer a gamble and that's how 2k gets around those things like that if in some countries they say if you are uh, in the u.s is one of them china's one of them uh you know a lot of asian countries uh all, most of the countries like you got somewhere like you got some places where it doesn't apply and 2k can't be sold there and that's why they're trying to uh, get stuff straightened up with the ante up and stuff but in most countries if you disclose the odds it cannot be counted as gambling because you are completely aware of what it is that you're doing and i believe that's how they get around the gambling stuff like with the state lottery and stuff like you know that your odds of winning are the same odds of getting bit by a polar bear and they are uh, and a regular bear in the same day plus getting struck by regular lightning grease lightning white lightning and making it to the nfl and getting your doctorate degree all in the same day you got the same chances of that you know than winning the lottery so you know like i said like um that's how they get around that your boy your boy power says people need to stop freaking out about this uh about the wagering uh has been banned it's been like this since last year of march or longer uh it's just that the guys are just now reading uh reading it right now it's unlikely that anyone's gonna get banned. It's probably to j just protect themselves uh, from getting sued. And that's correct, uh, it's CYA. The whole business in the business world is CYA. And if you're in the military, you already know what that is. You CYA first. What, 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 DI, uh, what your commanding officer, CEO, whoever you talking to, the first thing you're gonna say is, did you do it by the book? Did you did you do the instructions? Did you do everything here? Make sure you did it this way first because we got to see why A. Because if something comes back wrong, we did the process right. It ain't on us. That's CYA. And now, uh, you know, uh, Powell comes back and says, technically, everybody who uh, streams or uploads 2K is violating. Well, you're not violating copyright policy if you got a, if you had a, uh, a multi, uh, if you're in a network like I have, MCN, like I am, or what have you. Um, let me see, violating copyright, and they could be, uh, they could all copyright us uh, from using their content without the express permission, but that won't happen because they recognize the value in creators, and the same is true for wages. Uh, they wouldn't get banned. I agree with that. They do see the value, but the main reason is is because we do have an agreement. Uh, a lot of us got agreements with MCNs to do it. I have an agreement with the MCN. A lot of people got it. The only people that really don't have that are the guys that are um that are just completely independent. I'm not one of those guys that's independent. So you know, you know, it is what it is. Uh, he also says. Uh, this is a good point that two people putting up money uh may not even be the same as wagering as they i mean as they use the term uh that's just a two two person tournament and somebody dropped some information here and i, I believe this is actually really 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 insightful it just says worth noting fighting games had the same issue and they did they used to do them first to tens and, and stuff like that uh you know uh f champ and uh chris g all them they'll get out there and they'll play uh with my guy yipes all them guys they would do it so uh and it says wages are bets wages are bets by third parties viewing the contest two people putting money on the line is just a two-man tournament the uh the turn the tourney prize and betting fall under different uh categories uh or what have you and so i can dig that man if that's how they want to look at it that's how they want to look at it and uh you know it is it really is what it is because really 
you can't be wagering. I guess what he's saying is you can't wager. It can't be a wager if I'm actually putting the money up and I'm participating. The wager is if we watching the game and I say I bet they'll win, I bet they'll win, and, and what have you. Otherwise, it's just prize money. If if the parties involved are putting up the money, uh, they're just saying that I couldn't be watching a 2K game and say, hey guys, let's bet on this. And it can't be nothing of value either. So that's why like, I seen Annoying last night, they did a, a thousand VC or whatever. And that's how they get around it in a lot of cases uh, with any up. But at the same time, any and they getting uh, any up out of the game. But at the same time, with any up in certain countries, it doesn't matter what happens. If you put real money into it, it doesn't matter if you get real money out of it. They look at it as a form of gambling and, and it's banned. But like here in Georgia and a lot of other states and most places in the U.S., you can do stuff like when you go to an arcade, that's technically gambling. Uh, my dad, he plays a lot of video poker and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm sure a lot of us, a lot of our parents play that video poker. But when they play it at the gas station, they can only get gas or something out of the store. They cannot give you money back. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, man, if you know the gas station attendant, they might hook you up. Bro, I already know it. Shut the hell up, man. Shh, shut up. Anyway, listen. That's why when you go and play video poker, all you can get is gas. You can get something of value, but they cannot give you money back. Uh, it can only be a prize if it's not actual cash money. They can't even give you a gift card or nothing like that, if I'm not mistaken. All they can give you is something out of the store. So it's just like you came in, you paid, and, uh, and if you win, they just give you gas. You get an unlimited gas card or something like that, all the Cheetos you want. Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. But anyway, like I said, y'all think it's a good look or a bad look uh, for 2K. What do y'all think? I think, I mean, they just, they just CYA. I don't think they're really going to ban anybody. And uh, we already know that the main thing is we don't care if they're gambling and got money on the line. All we really care about is to see elite competition going against each other. And uh, just like when Annoying played last night and uh, he was wide open with a 99 three ball and corner specialist catch and shoot and clutch shooter and what it was, uh, 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 flexible release and all that and they made him smoke a wide open white but a lock came down on the other end and shot a wide open white on the wheat on the wing and he was moving and he hit that and that's why i would never gamble on this game because you got everything going for you on this end and you're supposed to hit it and you got the other person that doesn't have really anything going and you know boom they can still hit the shot now, they only lost 1,000 VC, according to the title, but I'm just saying. Anyway, man, let me get up out of here, man. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you made it this far, put, uh, put, put, I feel you, Jay, in the comment section if you feel me on that VC thing, man. Because, hey, if I, hey, look, I'm going to pay that VC to save my time, too. And uh, thanks for the history lesson, man. I'm streaming on Twitch right now. Come through, holler at your boy, and I'm going to holler at y'all next time, till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. God speak. Guys, please.